in 2008. After... There was Northern Rock nowadays. Yeah, they, they got taken over by the government because they fucking failed. It is. It's a time bomb. There's a reason that these See, this is considered. 125 here sounds ridiculous, but imagine you bought a house in the 80s. You paid your mortgage off. You know, you paid 85 percent of your mortgage off between 1980 and 2000. Yeah. You remortgaged your house in 2000, mm. and then you, from you know, 2000 2015, you paid it off again, and in 2015 afterwards, you wanted to do equity release. Yeah, you'd be doing, you know, that house. Let's say has gone from one hundred and fifty to six hundred thousand pounds, and you've borrowed the original one hundred and fifty thousand pounds what like four or five times. <laughs> yeah, basically, that is a trajectory. That is why they always try and make sure that the house prices are going up because you have to keep you have to keep putting air in the balloon. Basically, mm. you it, you cannot have deflation of any kind. It becomes disastrous in that system. But there's a another piece of the puzzle here is the fact that UK household debt has swollen past two trillion dollars for the first time ever. Two trillion pounds. Two trillion pounds. Sorry, I'm I'm used to dealing with the uh, the evil reserve currency from the evil empire. But uh, family debt has swelled past two trillion for the first time ever. In a sign, Brits are whipping out their credit cards to fund spending with the cost of living crunch. New research out today reveals. Well. Money isn't worth what it was, true, but there's also just this huge background. Yeah, look of, at the... Yeah. Uh, around eight in every ten pounds of outstanding debt is tied to home purchases. That's the mortgages. Yep. Unsecured lending, which typically carries higher interest rates due to banks worrying about not being able to seize assets or to reclaim their money if borrowers default, has climbed up more than 7% over the last year. So not only do we have more debt, we have more Unse- risky debt. Yeah, more unsecured debt. Um... But yeah, eighty that's eighty percent of debt in the UK is tied to home purchase. Which is why the kind of mortgage guarantee scheme will be the most effective way of cajoling people into accepting government assistance, most likely in the guise of a central bank digital currency that will have at some point some form of like social credit attached to but it. But as you go on to note here, this is exactly like bloody George Bush and the government well American government did back in like two thousand and two. As you as as was kind of hinted at in the Guardian article there, um irresponsible lending and risky debt is being advertised as the only equitable choice for allowing home ownership. I mean a credit crisis is being justified on the moral imperative to lend money to people who can't repay it back. It's the same thing that Bush Jr. did in 2002. Yeah. With, and the word minorities appears 24 times <clears throat> in kind of the, what is it, the, the American homeowners, all that stuff we talked about previously, all the legislation he brought in to overcook the, the US housing market was all predicated, predicated on the idea of minority-owned homes. I mean, You're let's... always searched in the wrong tab when you I know, do I know. that. Anyway, minority, 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 minority yeah. homeowners. No, well, the overall, minority families. Well, the overall homeownership rate has reached an all-time high of nearly sixty-eight percent. The statistics show a clear and present or persistent homeownership gap. The African American home ownership rate was twenty-seven point five percent points below the white rate. <laughs> we have to close the housing gap for people who have poor credit ratings. Ah, uh, the despite the increase in minority, yeah, it's t- according to the uh, HUD, as we talked about before, um, in 1994, the minority home ownership rate, yeah, yeah, you talked, oh, sorry, I'm that one. Lack of access to affordable mortgage credit, a lack of understanding of the home buying process, <laughs> weak credit histories, often arising from a poor understanding of financial matters and where financial counselling is required. They can't handle their money. Can't build it, can't maintain it, can't finance it. Can't communicate it. <laughs> it turns out that uh, the idea of finance is also incommunicable. But, uh, but yeah, that, that, this is exactly, exactly the same conditions that led to the 2008 crisis. I mean, this is the same stuff we saw as well when we looked at the Infinite Council House scheme yeah. in London. You know, this is what Sadiq Khan and all these people were putting forward this notion of, well, We've got to subsidise housing for brown people to make it equitable, so we make white people's housing costs higher. Um, yeah, there's there's the other one here, which is 
the unspoken fact about all of this is that it's already been trialed. The idea of direct support to consumers via the government, not even with intermediary, that they, they will use fintech, there will be apps, there will be lots of public-private partnership stuff like there was with Serco during the lockdowns. <laughs> but I did own a house this morning. But I did. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, all of this has been tried during the exceptional circumstances. And yes. As we talked about... So as we talked about last week, the exception becoming the norm is a huge feature of and, um, how the ratchet is turned. As you mentioned as well, there was all the, the STEMI checks in America that came to like, what was that, five trillion well, or something? I just, this is like a that. time capture. This is from December 2020, just just as the Christmas was cancelled. Um, oh. Furlough extension buys time as vaccine roll. When they were they, they were pushing this ticking time bomb, just just get us over, just get us to the vaccine. The oh. vaccine will bring back normality. It looks bizarre. There he is, good old Faisal. fucking Faisal Islam. The furlough scheme has been extended again, <laughs> and here's is just the ballooning of the cost. The furlough scheme has cost forty six point four billion to date. And I be- it was extended well into 2021. I believe it was over 100 billion See, in the this end. Is, this is something that will forever grind. Just, oh, it, it, it makes me like hateful because I know there are millions of people up and down the country that were basically paid three quarters of their full time working wage to be off work for 18 months. And they just sat there and pretended it was okay. Yeah, they. And they, if you if you ever needed any more reason to believe that the masses are passive and will engage in suicidal behaviour when they should otherwise know better, because that's what they've been told to do, look no further. Well, a lot of people will be like, "Oh no, people just won't accept hyper and you know, if you give everyone a million dollars, they'll they'll think something's up." You know, but surely they would realize. Surely they would realize they're going to be put in a hyperinflation situation. But if you t- if you talk to people who were on a furlough and you're like, you know, this is your fault, right? You <laughs> sat there, you didn't work, you took free printed money, and now and you spent it all on shite. Yeah, and now <laughs> everything costs more. Be- you clarna it all <laughs> because you quite literally do not understand the example of Weimar Germany that was sold to you like a primary school child with a crayon drawing. Even that is too complex for people in the moment of exception. Yeah, JD in chat, my formal education ended around 1920. I struggled badly. I basically had to go freelance. I mean, I basically the same myself. My degree finished across 2020, 2021. My job that I was in at the end, or the start of 2020, decided to get rid of me two months before furlough, which meant I didn't meet that. So there was no jobs going. There was not a single scheme I could claim money off. And the degree I had basically became worthless because we don't have professional careers in Britain anymore. Well, it's you're right. It's just a signal that when all this comes, people will eat it up. There is no matter how obvious it is, no matter how cartoonish it is, no matter how silly, it, no matter how silly it looks, no matter how much people should know better, they do not because the masses are passive and they will simply eat what is put in front of them yep. that is that is a, they do not think outside of the moment especially if there is a situation of exception there is massive evidence of this and the five trillion dollar u.s pandemic stimulus is one of the greatest worked examples they just gave them all checks they gave them all a hundred dollars to fuck off and nothing happened and there were still <laughs> riots and uh, yeah, yeah. pillaging basically and they gave the they gave them the free Air Jordans, and they still burst the shop windows and went in and stole them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they <laughs> you give them free Air Jordans, and they'll just think you're good for another pair. 